position your drip assist, place it below the drip chamber and slide it upwards from the base. The blue cam on the right will rotate downward and spring back to hold the device in place. Correct positioning is key. Use the orange dotted line as a reference point. Drops must be in free fall as they travel across that line. Avoid splashback from liquid in the bottom of the chamber and make sure drops that are still forming from the needle don't cross over the orange line. Turn on the device with the button on the far left. With the second button, select your drip factor. The drip assist accommodates 10, 15, 20, and 60 GTT sizes. The bottom left-hand part of the screen will remind you of the drip factor you selected. This tubing set is a 15. Your drip assist will monitor the flow of fluid, but controlling the rate is still in your hands. Use the built-in roller clamp with the tubing set as you would normally. Adjust the flow until you are satisfied with the numbers on the screen. Drip Assist has an alarm. Here's how to use it. When you've reached a flow rate you're satisfied with, press the third button to activate the alarm. The bottom right-hand part of the screen will remind you of the rate you selected. The alarm will sound if the rate changes significantly or if the flow stops for any reason. You can see the flow rate in either milliliters per hour or drops per minute by using the fourth button. That button will also show you the total volume that has been dispensed. In the top right hand corner of the screen is the drip indicator. That flashes as each drop passes the orange line. That indicator is your feedback that the device is seeing the drops. The drip assist uses one AA battery. To change the battery, remove the battery door by sliding it firmly to the right. Replace the battery door by hooking the tabs on the back into the casing and sliding to the left. You will hear a click when the door is fastened. 